Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for watching today's podcast. Whether it's morning, evening, whatever time it is for you, thank you for coming and watching the video and taking the time out to review this video. Today, we will be talking about football, the National Football League, American football, wherever, whatever you call it where you live. Um, it's one of the hardest things to really concept if you never played it before, and that's okay. Specifically, I'm talking about the Giants today because the New York Football Giants, as you know, is two and six. I can double check that. I believe it's two and six now. Uh, they are now two and six after losing to the Detroit Lions, thirty-one to twenty-six. This game was a game that had some frustration parts, and a lot of it has to do with many different variety of different reasons. Whether it was Daniel Jones fumbling the football, allowing the Lions to get a touchdown when that touchdown shouldn't have been there if he just played smart. He has to play smart. He has to play smarter, but he didn't do it this time around. It's crucial to make sure that the future, which he is starting to do better at, is eliminating the turnovers. That is crucial for Daniel Jones to do. Daniel Jones had to limit the turnovers. Look, he did it. He did well. After he did that, he started improving. He threw, I think, over 300 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions, but that fumble, that fumble that the Lions returned for a touchdown hurt us at the end of the day, and it made us lose the football game. It's crucial. Now, it's not obviously just him. The defense has to do better. Obviously, if you give up over 20 points to an opposing offense, the chances are you are going to lose that game. And it's crucial to make sure you make sure you fix that and make sure you do everything in your power to make sure that does not occur again. Look, Daniel Jones is a rookie. He's going to make rookie mistakes. I know people have been rough on him, tough on him because he has lost four in a row. But at the same time, Daniel Jones is not the problem. The problem still resides on the defense. Daniel Jones is a quarterback that I think is an all-star and probably one of the best quarterbacks will be in the NFL very, very soon. Just give him time. Give him that time to continue improving, and he will. He will improve. Is this a matter of time? Give him that opportunity to improve. Look, you have to, play, you have, to have played football at some point in your life, whatever it was, in, in high school or, or for fun. You have to understand completely and actually study the game of football to completely understand Daniel Jones' struggles. Daniel Jones' struggles are struggles that every single rookie quarterback has played and has done, and they all struggle. He's a rookie. He's a young quarterback. He just got out of college. College and NFL is two different complete leagues. It's a whole different experience. It requires a whole different day of work, and it's not the same. Regardless of what people tell you, it's not the same. So give him some time. He's improving every single game. He he is a phenomenal quarterback, and his future is bright. And I think he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League in a few years. Give him that time, and don't judge him based upon his performances in this one season. He has done okay. He has done great time. He has done great at times. He has done amazing at times, and he also has done bad at times. But that's the growing pains of having a rookie quarterback. My name is Roberto Martinez. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the bell so you never miss another video. Have a great day. My name is Money Boy, signing off. Thank you. Bye-bye.